welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog. Michael and I have spent the day out today getting stuff done. We went back to like the Obelisco area today because we had to go to migrations and we officially applied for our Rentisa visa. So we are in the process of getting this done and we had a few questions like some things online just like weren't working as well as we wanted them to so we went in today just asked a few questions and honestly it was so nice to just speak with someone and like express our concerns and get just real answers from someone who knows exactly what they're doing because there's just so much information online and it changes all the time there's so many things and so many opinions going on in like whatsapp groups and facebook groups and all that stuff so to like go to migration today and just talk with someone who knew exactly what needs to be done and what needs to be happened is and was amazing it was like such a good relief for us because we are on the right track he explained everything to us and he really took his time to like explain it to us too he had so much patience which was just so so nice it is nothing like the dmv or like anything like that in the u.s like these people actually care and they just want to see people like succeed it feels like you know it's not like oh like this is one thing wrong or you're wasting my time like get out of my sight try again another day or like send an email online or something like they really take the time to just give you the answers that you need and like that's exactly like that's the feeling i've been wanting to feel for so long and if you've been following my last few vlogs like you know that we've been at this for a little bit now and I'm freaking happy. Like, I really, really am. So that's exciting. That is really, really exciting. I'll keep you up to date. And we still have a few more things to do. He explained the process and how it'll go for us. Um, but we are, we're in the process. We officially applied. So here we go. <laughs> also, it is really starting to feel like fall in Buenos Aires. And I am so happy. Like, I in New York always crave sunshine and heat and the warm weather. And Buenos Aires gave me that, like, times 10. So I'm really looking forward to some cold, cooler weather. It's like, in the morning when you wake up it's like has a nice breeze the leaves are falling off the trees it's a little bit cloudy a little bit gloomy and then like in the afternoon it's still like summertime heat but like in the morning it's finally giving like that crisp cold fall sensation and like if you look over there like i was literally in a sweater this morning <gasps> could not believe it falls upon us and i'm really excited Good morning everyone. We are starting our day off today at Plaza de Mayo. It's really been a minute since Michael and I have come here and it's a Saturday afternoon right now and literally, I kid you not, there's like no one here. So I don't know if tourist season is like ending. I don't know if tourist season in Buenos Aires is popular like in end of summer, beginning of fall. This is my first fall that I'm going to spend here in Buenos Aires and I'm really excited about it. But Michael and I are hanging out here right now, kind of taking a nice stroll. We're going to get some lunch. And then we're gonna go to the Kirshner building. Michael has never been before. I've been once or twice for a book fair. So we're gonna go in there, it opens at two, and we need to find some lunch. I am in the mood for empanadas or toripan. Michael said he could go for either of those or tostado. So we'll have to see what we find. We're gonna try to go into La Casa Rosada right now because someone just told us that apparently it's open. There's some museum in there or something. I've never been in there. I never even thought like I could go in there. So we're gonna see. He said turn around the corner, said it's open. So we'll find out, we'll see. I'm not going to speak too loud because we're in a museum, 
but I'm surprised that we got in. Michael and I have come to Plaza de Mayo so many times and we have never seen this museum before. It's really nice. It kind of goes into like the history of like the presidents of Argentina and they have like some really cool artifacts and things like that. So I think it's really cool and it was free to get into. I'm a believer that we should bring back the old sash. <laughs> We had what Michael says to be the best carne empanadas that we've had. They were fried, they were like 800 each. And truthfully, I know that baked empanadas are so common here in Argentina, but when we have a fried one after not having it for so long, it is so good. Also, side note, La Americana also does really good fried empanadas if you're looking for one. Also too, I've mentioned this in like my What to Do in Buenos Aires 2024 video, but like, if you go to La Plaza de Mayo, there is literally so much to do, like just from Plaza de Mayo. You have Obelisco, then you can walk to Plaza de Mayo, and then behind Plaza de Mayo, you have Puerto Madero literally right there. And you also have over here, the Kirshner building. There is so much to do, like just around Plaza de Mayo. It is crazy. Like every time I walk around this area, like I'm impressed every single time. Like it, it's just amazing, like how much there is to do in such a short amount of distance. But we are gonna make our way into the Kirshner building. I'm excited. It's Michael's first time, so I hope he enjoys. I wanted to go here for so long, but look, the commercial bag. The bag of commerce. Vlog, I asked you guys to give me some recommendations of some snacks from Argentina and one thank you I had so many amazing recommendations and I'm excited to like literally try them all but one of you mentioned and I think actually a few of you mentioned um, that your favorite snack is quesitas and I ate this like nobody's business when I first came down to Argentina and I literally genuinely 100% forgot that they existed so thank you for reminding me that these are such a good snack and I need to try the other ones that you recommended too because I got some recommendations to try Rex and another one I'll put it right here so my goal in this mission in this vlog is to try the three crackers that you guys recommended and rate them for you so we all know that Ritz if you watch my previous vlog is down at the bottom literally no good I don't recommend it at all the thing is so when I open the bag and then it rips like ugh, I just did it more you see I hate that I can't stand that Wow. Wow. I can't believe I forgot how good these were. I'm gonna give them a 7.5, but I feel like that rating is not just. But we're gonna go with, I don't know. If they weren't as salty as they are, I would definitely give them an 8.5, maybe a nine. But because they are pretty salty, I'd give them a 7.5. Still very good, definitely better than the Ritz crackers. This is gonna taste test. hates when I do this, ready? Cerrito, tip top. Taki-taki, Prime Staple, Blueberry, Tiny, Tiny Mouth. Take it. Aww. He likes it. He thinks it's good. Take it. Good morning everyone, 
happy sunday michael and i really had like a lazy morning i really did not want to leave the house this morning like i was just in a big lazy mood we watched like a bunch of youtube videos we watched a show that we're watching but it's such a nice day today and we had to come out and we had to do something so we're at the dog park right now and there's one dog that max is playing with it's kind of cute and we're just gonna have like a lazy-ish day we're not gonna go anywhere super crazy we're not gonna do anything super extravagant but we're gonna walk around our neighborhood neighborhood a little bit probably get lunch I'm kind of feeling ice cream for lunch that just sounds so good and now that falls approaching like I feel like I need to eat all of the ice cream I possibly can because I'm not gonna eat it in winter or in fall so we have to get our ice cream fixed in while we can and it's just a nice day so we're just hanging out also can we talk about your rule okay so you have a rule in the winter you only eat and drink hot stuff in the summer you only like drink iced coffee. That's the only time you eat ice cream. I don't know if I could follow the ice cream rule in the winter. I don't know. Last it's, year, yeah, because I was ignorant. But now I'm just going to be craving. It's it's not a rule. It's like just a general practice. Seems like a rule sometimes because it seems weird the whole winter. You just don't mysteriously want ice cream, not even once. Okay, comment down below if you eat ice cream in winter. <laughs> comment down below if you eat hot chocolate in summer we're gonna get no okay comments. nobody's gonna want to eat hot chocolate in summer like sometimes you just want to eat ice cream in the winter especially at night like at like 9 p.m you know you're watching tv that's when you want ice cream in the winter you never really want hot chocolate in the summer that's different that's just different Not even gonna lie on this one the children's parks that we see all throughout Buenos Aires are truthfully the most creative artistic and like honestly fun parks I think I've ever seen ever like every single time we pass like a children's park there's always something cool like this and I'm impressed I really am go-to ice cream order is always mint chocolate chip to me, it's like the best ice cream ever. There's a lot of people who say that it tastes like toothpaste, and if that's you, I don't know how you think that. It's like the best ice cream in the world. Um, and I also got mine today with like a Kinder Bueno ice cream, which is so incredibly good. Another favorite of my ice cream here is the Oreo cookies and cream. That is so good, especially when they combine it with Dulce de Leche. And I don't really love the Dulce de Leche ice cream, and I know I shouldn't be saying that, out loud but the best dulce de leche ice cream in my opinion comes from kadori like literally so incredibly good and this ice cream too is so good we got two little tiny cups for four thousand pesos in total two thousand each it's a lot of ice cream that they give you too One of my favorite activities to do in Buenos Aires is to just walk around and not really have a destination, but just like get out there and walk. And honestly, for me, like this morning, I didn't want to do anything, but just pushing myself to go outside and walk, it makes me feel so much better. And the weather and the sun today, it's like perfect walking temperature today. Unfortunately, it is that time of the week where it is time to do some laundry. And I don't say it's unfortunate because I don't like doing laundry. I actually don't mind doing laundry. I say it's unfortunate because our washer machine literally is, I have no words of how to describe how this thing is. We bought it on Facebook Marketplace. When I bought it from the guy, he said we would have a guarantee. So if there's any problems, he would come and fix it. And there's several problems with it, quite frankly. And I have been messaging him for like two months and he, he has not come. He's given me every excuse under the sun and he's just stopped replying to my text messages. So we are stuck with this washer now. Um, and I have been kind of like in a rut 
and I've been expressing some of my frustrations like on this channel. But truthfully, the small problems that like I talk about are not a representation of Argentina or Buenos Aires as like a whole collectively. Like the city is amazing and it is filled with hundreds and thousands of like amazing kind people who just are just kind and genuine people, but I haven't had some good <laughs> some good experiences lately. So don't let like my small frustrations make you think something that's not true. So I'm gonna put a video of what our washer looks like when it runs. And after you see this video, know that now it's a little bit better because we have duct taped the heck out of it. And Michael is currently like trying to contact washer repair people to actually come and fix the problem. But I present to you Unfortunately, my washing machine. And that is why I do not like doing laundry. It is time to try another cracker that you guys recommended. This one is the Rex one because in my previous video I talked about how I didn't like the Ritz crackers that they had here and you recommended me to try these ones and I'm gonna be honest from the picture right here it really does look like a Ritz cracker like you could have fooled me this could have said Ritz and you would have had me fooled so I like what we're working with. It's not too burnt, not too dark, not too light. These taste more like a Ritz cracker than the Ritz cracker brand that I had down here tastes like a Ritz cracker. I think I'd give them a 6.5. They're good. They're a good cracker, but for me, they're just like a little bit too... I don't want to say burnt because they're not burnt, but they're like a little bit too crispy for me but I like that they're like, they have that butter feeling. 6.5 is high on the cracker scale. So I don't think it's a bad rating. And I don't even know where to begin for this next one because you also recommended me to try this brand of crackers. And I'm going to be so incredibly honest. Last night or two nights ago, I had went out and I got these and I was waiting to try them on the vlog. But I'm going to be so honest, I was so hungry and I was like, I'm just going to try a few right now and I'm sure that the vlog will forgive me for it. So I ate a few of these and I kid you not, me eating a few ended up me eating the whole entire bag of these. And these are incredible. These are so good that I ate like the whole thing in basically one sitting. The best cracker I may have ever had ever. So incredibly good. And truthfully, I will be buying these again. I'm excited to buy these again. And I give these a 10 out of 10. If you recommended me these to try down below, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. New favorite cracker right here. And they have these in different versions too, but I love cheese flavored anything. New snack unlocked. If there's any more snacks you have for me to try, please comment them down below because I'm not here trying what you guys recommend. And a few months ago, Michael and I did like an alpha whore taste testing like challenge thing. When we first came down here, we tried so many alpha whores, but we've been kind of playing with the idea of doing something like that again, like doing like an Argentinian snack video or doing like another version of our alpha whore video or like eating like fast food out here and like showing you guys what it's like. So if you would like to see a video, anything like that, let us know what you're thinking down below because we've been playing around with the idea, but We'll see. If you want to see that type of video, let us know and comment down below. I get this toaster. We've been missing a toaster for so long. Nivea for 16,000, 30% off. Is the toaster really that big? Yeah, it's pretty big, right? Yeah. The type of bread you're getting in here. That type of bread. Actually, if there's no middle piece, you can get in here. But now we could have some toasted bread. Oh. Defrost. Mmm. Reheat. 
Why I, repeat? I don't know why this That's does That's the strangest setting. You get pizza from, you know? Yeah, you yeah, get your yeah. pizza in here. You know, I had a pretty traumatic experience with Veya. You know, I bought actually bought this online already, but when I went to pick it up, it was at the wrong location. They, mm -hmm. for some reason, told me to pick it up two hours away. I'm not doing that. And then they had the wrong day as well, so. But here it is, the toaster. Wow. Close. With that being said, we're going to close the vlog out for here today. If you've enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. The engagement that you put into my channel really helps me spread my videos to more amazing people just like you. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe because I would love to have you here for the long run. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>